Hi, I'm John Curry, an owner of Curry Enterprises. We spent a lot of time developing our new Rock Jock 44 as a direct replacement for the JK Dana 44. Replacing your stock Dana 44 with the Rock Jock 44 is a great upgrade. It allows you to use your stock drive shaft, suspension, and disc brakes. The first step in replacing your factory Dana 44 with a Rock Jock 44 rear end is to get your Wrangler in the air and remove the rear tires. The suspension will need to drop further than the travel of the shocks, so start by removing them at the housing only. Remove the lower sway bar links and push the sway bar up out of the way. Unbolt the calipers and slide them off the rotors. Use zip ties to hold them up out of the way. Unscrew the retainer clips and remove the rotors. Remove the ABS sensors on both sides, making sure the wires are completely clear of the rear end. Unbolt the axles at the housing end flanges so the axles can be removed. You may need to use a mallet or a puller to get the axle bearings free from the axle housing flanges. Gently slide both axles out of the housing. To remove the e-brake cables, compress the spring and pull away from the housing bracket. Disconnect the e-brake cables from the brakes on both sides. Slide the brake backing plates off and set them aside. Remove the e-brake cables from the housing and let them hang out of the way. Next unbolt the drive shaft. Make sure to make a timing mark on the yoke for correct reassembly. Unplug the two sensors on the housing center, disconnect the vent tube, and place them out of the way. Remove the bump stops on the housing if equipped. Unbolt the track bar at the housing only and zip tie it up out of the way. Next, unbolt and remove the spring retainers. Unbolt the lower suspension arms at the housing only and swing them out of the way. Make sure the housing is supported well so it doesn't move when the arms are separated. Lower the rear end down far enough so the springs are completely separated. Unbolt the upper arms and once again make sure the rear end is supported well so it doesn't rotate. Now your factory Dana 44 is ready to be removed. Be careful as you slide the rear end out so you don't catch on the ABS wires. Use an impact wrench to disconnect the yoke from the original housing for reuse. You may need to use a mallet to completely remove the yoke. Now that the old rear end is completely removed, it's time to prepare the new Rock Chalk 44 to go in. The new Rock Chalk 44 comes standard with a U-joint type yoke, but will also work with the original yoke. To use the original yoke, use an impact wrench to remove the supplied yoke. Use a mallet to tap the factory dust shield off of the original yoke. Place the factory yoke onto the Rock Chalk 44 pinion shaft. Use red Loctite on the threads of the nut and use an impact to tighten. Slide the new Rock Chalk 44 back under the Jeep, being careful not to catch on the ABS sensor wires. Lower both upper suspension arms into the housing brackets and tighten. Torque the upper arms to 85 foot-pounds. Next, place both lower control arms into the housing brackets and tighten. Torque the lower control arms to 90 foot-pounds. Raise the new housing up into the Jeep until the springs seat in their cups. Reattach the spring retainers on both sides and tighten. Reattach the bump stops on the driver and passenger sides. Place the bottom of each shock into the new housing and tighten. Reattach the sway bar links on both sides. Lower the track bar down to the housing bracket and tighten. Torque the track bar to 90 foot-pounds. Plug the vent hose and the two sensors into the new housing. It's easiest to slide the backing plate onto the axle before trying to put the stock axle back into the housing. Apply a small amount of grease into the axle bearing flange and slide the stock axle into the new Rock Jock 44. Evenly tighten the axle bolts so the backing plates seat properly. Reattach the ABS sensors on both sides and tighten. When reattaching the e-brake cables, place them into the receivers first, then compress each spring to attach them to the housing brackets. Slide the stock rotors back onto both sides. Reattach the calipers, making sure the fluid lines are not twisted. 
torque the caliper bolts to 90 foot-pounds. The drive shaft is now ready to be attached. Make sure the timing marks are aligned for proper drive shaft balance. Tighten the drive shaft bolts and torque to 20 foot-pounds. Now that the new RockShot 44 is in, reattach the wheels and be sure to torque them to the manufacturer's specifications. As you can see, upgrading your stock Dana 44 we're in to the new Rock Jock 44 we're in is a fairly simple job. If you want the best 44 we're in that money can buy and want to rest assured that it can get the job done, give Curry a call today and order your new Rock Jock 44 we're in.